Welcome back to another episode of Crazy Craft Updated. Hi, Future Evan here. I just wanted to let you know I am on a vacation. I, I, I recorded it, and I wanted to make sure I had something up for you guys. I did a lot of quests in this video, and uh, we started Botania, so I'm, I'm very excited about that. But I'm on vacation. I have no service. I, I am remote. I'm on a cruise ship right now. I'm probably living the life. That's why there's no videos for like the next week or whatever. I get back on Thanksgiving, so I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Aww. And yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm back. And I have videos recorded. I just can't edit them in time. I'm literally leaving in like the next eight hours. I've packed and then I have to like sleep and then wake up for the train. I have a lot of things I have to do. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, I'll see you guys after Thanksgiving. Oh, what hat should we go for today? You know, it's been a long week. I've been working hard. Let's wear the hard hat. Where we left off last time, we were fighting some dragons. Here's a clip of that. There's a, there's a dragon right there. Quit messing with my boys. This guy does a lot of damage very scary dragons but we killed some and we got some of their blood the good gracious blood now this episode i was gonna go kill some more dragons but i'm actually on a time crunch i have a cruise i'm going on in exactly three days and i'll have no videos up throughout the week so i'm having to record a lot of videos so let's read our comments real fast our first comment is by silent blade 1478 and he says for some more health you can find the heart canisters in the cyclic mod also, you can make the ultimate apple, which is not a bad idea. I think we should do that. And our other comment, <laughs> I thought this was funny, is from Evan Bro number one fan. He says, I'm your number one fan. I love your videos so much. Thank you, Evan Bro number one fan. Thank you. I saw some people wanting to see where Crazy Craft was or how I'm playing it. It's in the description. All the videos have it link in the description. Go check it out. That's how you download it. That's how I'm playing this. If you want to play it yourself, it's on the, the Curse Forge. Now, let's do some things, okay? Let me grab my quest book. Look, we have a lot of quests we can do. Now, some people want me to do Botania, get the Terra Shatterer, which... I want to get as well but we're also very easily going to do some of these other quests i mean this this one right here is very easy the dark utilities we could easily do these so these four charms are things we need for the quest and some of them actually are kind of useful so we need an end crystal which we can make and i'm going to quickly learn grab a good stack of those all right the first thing we're going to make is a portal charm which allows the wearer to instantly pass through portals which i mean is cool not really something I need, but I mean, if I could put it on my thing, sure thing, I'll put it on. There we go. Okay, next one is a sleep charm. Allows players to sleep without delay. Slowly reduces the insomnia counter, which I don't even know what that means. But we need a phantom membrane, which means I need to not sleep to get that one done, you know, and get a phantom membrane. But we also need yellow dye, which we have red dye and black dye. We have all of those. So we need to kill a phantom membrane, which we'll be able to get very easily. So we'll come back to that one. But the experience charm, this one should be pretty self-explanatory. We have emeralds. I just need to put some emeralds. Okay. We just need to put some emeralds away. So we'll have everything we need there, except for the bottle of enchanting, which we could probably make. Maybe there's a way we can just get it. We could just go to a cleric. It also says with levels, we could just infuse with an enchanting table, a honey bottle. Is that true? Can we do that? I need, I need lapis. Does that, does that work? It, may, it, it just made a honey bottle. I think we could just go to a village and bring some emeralds with us, which I will do. So we need to go to the rainbow ant dimension. Okay, so one of you, where one of these has a church. We need the church one. What is this? A robo warrior? I just got nuked. What the heck? Well, that was fun. Okay, well, let me <laughs> let me go back and get my stuff. Hold on, hold on. I don't know what a robo warrior is, but that thing just nuked me, bro. That was crazy. So that's why there's guards in this village, and now there's lightning. What on earth is going on? Okay, these guys, they are nuclear. They don't mess around. See, okay, so do these things block... No, they they don't. Okay. I don't know what these things are, but they are explosive, bro. These things are nuclear. Okay, they drop like all kinds of redstone stuff. A freaking ray gun. Yeah, I'll take a ray gun. How does a ray gun work? Oh! Oh, I'm 
sorry, villagers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go to a non-abandoned village that probably doesn't have enemies. Yeah, like these guys. Okay, these guys are trying to sleep. I apologize, but I need I need your stuff. Who you could be. Hey, sir. Would you like to be a cleric? Hey, don't worry about the bed. Wake up. Let's become a cleric, shall we? You guys like being clerics, right? Hey, become a cleric. What are you doing? No, you don't care about the telescope. You don't care about the telescope. Yes, you want to be a cleric. Okay, we want to cycle your trades till you give us the goods. Rotten flesh. All right, we're about to max you out, buddy. Rotten flesh. I know I got rotten flesh. Um, what else can I buy? Emeralds or things. Okay. I think you have one more leveling system, right? There we go. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now we have bottles of enchanting. Easily. Bam experience charms now we get xp easily okay we we get it no matter what all right let's scroll down to where our other one is we'll put that in our slot as well okay and then the last one is a gluttony charm which is very easy golden apple and cookies we have both of those we have cookies and golden apples so we'll slot that stuff in and we'll make a gluttony charm very very nice so this will allow us to eat food instantly so as you can see my saturation bar is fully up. I think it's because I have this in my inventory. So I don't know if I need to have food for it to eat or if it'll just eat. We're going to find out if that food goes down. So last one we need is the sleep charm. So we'll just not sleep through the night and hope a phantom spawns and we should be good. But that's basically that quest done. We're one away and we get that done. So let's move on to another quest. Another quest we can quickly do is the gob goobler, the, go the gobbler quest we've already made one of the staffs it's called the staff of ensnarement which allows us to capture mobs the other ones are of like staff of clearing so it breaks tall grass and stuff so let's make all the staffs all right the first one we're going to do is this one it just requires some gobber rods which is just some gobber ingots i think i'm saying that right gobber gobber ingots I assume that's correct. And some seeds. So we need gobber rods, which will make a good chunk of those. So now we can make a staff of clearing. Kind of cool. Next is the staff of nature. It converts saplings between types. Okay, that's actually kind of fire. Uh, we need nether gobber, which is just ancient debris and nether gobber. What is this? Dude, gobber. Do we have nether gobber? No, we don't have nether gobber. Okay, well, we don't have nether gobber ore. So let's go find that, I guess. There's the portal thing working. It instantly teleported me through. There's nether gobber ore, perfectly timed. And we got one and it's EMCable. How fortunate is it for me that I have everything I need? It's just perfect, isn't it? It's almost like I've planned this or something. I don't know. Okay, so then we need to get these, which they can be crafted and EMC'd. And then these will make those let me emc that very important okay so then we need sugar cane which i swear we have sugar cane yeah we got sugar cane and then some saplings i definitely have saplings let's just get and then we need an oak sapling okay we need an oak and other sapling that's fine i don't have a dark oak i only have dark oak you're telling me i don't have an oak sapling oak sapling i don't have an oak sapling i have a dark oak Okay, well, if I have a birch sapling and I have the philosopher's stone, we can do that. All right, let me get the philosopher's stone. I know I have a philosopher's stone. Shoot. Let me grab a dark oak sapling quickly. All right, let's convert this. Thank you. Easily done. All right, the staff of nature is complete. Very nice. Next is the staff of the farmer. Combines the ring of the farmer and the staff of the harvest. Okay, so now we need the ring of farmer, which is just bone blocks in a ring. And we're going to get a lot of those rings. I don't think we're going to need a lot of them, but we'll have them. All right, and then we'll make a ring of the farmer. Very nice. It's also EMCable, so we'll learn that just in case. But now that combines with the staff of the harvest, which is very simple. We just need another yellow dye. So we'll quickly make the staff of harvest and we'll make that into the staff of the farmer because we'll need it. There we go. So there's the harvest and the farmer. We got those two done. Last two we need is the staff of the stars, which is again, very simple. We just need glowstone dust. And there we go. Who is breaking stuff outside? Excuse me? Hello? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we on fire? Why are we on fire? Yo, yo, yo. I don't know how there was a fire, but that's not good. All right, the Staff of the Stars is done. It places regular torches. Pretty darn cool. And the last one is the Staff of the Sniper. It fires very precise arrows at high velocity. Very, very cool. Okay, so we need 
end gobber rods, which we actually can't do yet because we haven't gone to the end. So we have most of those done as well. We're just quest, we're just quest people. Look at this. We're so close to getting things done on all these quests. All right, we can't sleep through this night. We need phantoms to spawn. All right, there's also another one we can make. This is called Blades Plus. You can make a netherite great blade, which I believe, if I'm going to take a guess, there's a diamond blade. Yes, and that's probably what we need to make to make the, the great one. Okay, so we need a diamond plate, two of them, which requires four black stone and a wooden plate. A wooden plate is just strip logs and logs. So we'll do that real fast. So let's make those. And then we need black stone, which is that a specific thing? Cobbled black stone, black stone pebble. Okay, you get black stone pebbles from sifting dirt. All right, let's grab our sieves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then let's grab some string mesh. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so this can give us, oh Lord, look at all these goodies. We, yeah, there's black stone pebbles right there. Perfect. All right, we got black stone things. Perfect. Let's just put all this away. All right, I don't know what half of this is, but we're going to need it, so. Okay, so then with these items, we can make a diamond plate. We've already made two diamond plates right there. We're going to EMC those. I don't think I'm going to need a stack, but I'm going to grab a stack just in case we ever need them again. Boom, we make a diamond great blade, which does 14 damage compared to our... 43 so it's not that great but it's okay we're gonna need it so let's get a netherite ingot i assume we're gonna need that inside a smithing table so bam bam a netherite great blade quest complete this thing is huge does it do a lot of damage let's find out hello enderman oh where are you going where are you going okay yeah it doesn't it it does okay so it doesn't do a lot it it, it it doesn't do a lot. Stop teleporting. Stay still. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's not that good. So now we have the quest complete. That is all the blades pluses. There's other blades, obviously, but I don't care about them. Uh, why does this one have a pedestal? What? Why does this one deserve a pedestal? I don't understand. I want to fight the mousy mobs bosses which all like like look, look at this frost gnaw he looks sick i need to learn where these guys come from but dude these guys look insane like look at this guy all right let's do another easy quest okay i know i know we've talked about quests and stuff so let's do the emerald jetpack i don't think i'm gonna ever use the jetpack but it's part of the thing so emerald jetpack <laughs> Make finally the emerald jetpack. <sighs> Quest complete. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did not stop speaking there. That was fantastic. All right, we now have the emerald jetpack. Wow, will we ever need it? I don't know, you know, may maybe we will. Maybe we won't. And again, the jetpack has a cool jetpack thing. Where's the rest of these guys? Man, another quest down. Okay. I think we start a little bit of Botania. Just a little bit. So our goal in that mod will be to make the Terra Shatterer, which is Terra Steel, Living Wood Twigs, and a Mana Tablet. So let's start some Botania, shall we? I think we do a little bit of Botania. I think we just need to make Alex, uh, uh, Alexia Botania. So we just need a book, which we definitely have a book. So let's grab Alexia Botania. Very important for our Botania adventures. So, Botania. You can make a lot of cool stuff, okay? Lots of cool things. We don't care about all that. We know how Botania works. This, this is what I know. We need a mana pool, okay? And to do that, we need living rock. To get living rock, we need a pure daisy. To get a pure daisy, we need this, which is these and that, which we're just missing cobblestone slabs, which we definitely have. So let's make ourselves a petal apothecary. I knew I was going to be able to say, I just had to think of it. Okay, and then we also need water. So we have infinite water all around us. Let's move this guy over here, shall we? This is where our botania will be. How does that sound? That sounds like fun, right? All right, let's put some water in there. Let's grab another bucket of water. Underneath this, you know what? I think this would be really cool if we do it this way. Let's grab... Underneath all this is our infinite water source, shall we? All right, I'm gonna do as much as I can without using the Lexia Botania, because I know a good bit of it. So we need to make a pure daisy, which is some white, uh, white 
these. We need to make a pure daisy, which is four white shimmering uh, mushrooms or mystical white petals, which we don't have anything to make these. Um, but I do know we can make these with mushrooms and stuff, but we already have one. So we're just going to EMC that get a ton of those and we should be a okay. We also need a seed, which we have. And if we go over to our good old petal apothecary and we go ahead and throw in one, two, three, four of these and a seed, as you can see, all we need is a seed. We can make a pure daisy now of course these are luckily emc able so we can get like two or three of these i'm gonna get four of them and what these do is these can make not arrows if we grab some stone pure stone and we place these around so i'm gonna go one here one here one here and one here and we surround these with stone you'll see they have this crazy effect kind of glowing around them you see what i'm saying see these little this little glowing effect. It's gonna do something really cool with these stones in just a second. There we go. All right, look, you can see they are now transforming into living rock, which is what we need. Very nice. Okay, let's grab all of this. Shoot, I just broke all that. This cannot be emc This is very important to know. You cannot just EMC this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit more, okay? And we're going to do right here, these two here with the stones. And I'm going to grab some logs because we're going to need these logs to do the same thing as what that living rock did. As you can see, the logs also have a cool particle effect. So there they go. This is transforming now into living wood. See, 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 see. Okay, so these guys, again, are very important to Botania. We actually need, if I grab a crafting table, if we grab this living rock and put it like so, we get a mana pool, which we need. This is the start of our journey into Botania. I think we might as well put it like back here on like a cool living rock pedestal. Actually, I think it'd be cooler if it was on this living wood because it just looks better. Okay, so this is our mana pool. And by the name, it tells you what we need. We need mana. So you're probably wondering, Evan, how do you get mana? That's a great question. I don't know. Go away. If I'm being completely honest, I forget how to get mana. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research. <laughs> Normally I'm pretty well knowledgeable in Botania. I actually completely forget how you get mana. But while we wait the night off, let me try to make some of this cyclic stuff because in the comments y'all said, I mean, I got one shot by that thing. So that giant robot thing. So let's make the ultimate apple. The, the ultimate apple. This thing apparently is good. I don't know how that works, but we're going to need it. So let me grab some titanium and we can make an ultimate apple, which I don't know what this does. Oh, it just gives you a lot of stuff. Okay. I probably should have learned the ultimate apple before I ate the ultimate apple, but you know what? It's okay. We have another one right here. All right. So these things are busted. This is a stack is worth a billion. Also, I don't think the corn is necessary anymore because the, my, my ring, my ring of gluttony it instantly eats food. So I don't know if I need food. You know, it it hasn't gone down. I haven't had to worry about food. So now in cyclic, there is, I know there is heart canisters, right? Yeah, right here. Red heart canisters. So we can make some extra hearts in our thing. So let's, let's learn that. Let's learn how to do that. So we have a red heart canister, which we just need a necrotic bone. If we kill wither skeletons, we get that. That should be easy. I need some of them wither bones. Where you at, buddy? Look at this guy. He's got a Bane mask. He's cool. I nearly... So, what, what is Bane saying? I merely live in the darkness. Sorry that my camera's been off all of a sudden, dude. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Sometimes I think it's just the way I play. I lean forward sometimes. I, I break my back posture. I, it's just a it's just a mixture of things. Bro, where are the wither skeletons, bro? Bro, I came out here for a wither skeleton, and I can't even find one. What are you wearing? <laughs> where are the wither skeletons bro okay i gotta fly past my portal to go to where this withering woods is oh my god i'm so sorry i love this hat it's in the withering woods there's got to be withers right in the withering woods area there's got to be withers oh i got a wither bone 
I don't know if that's what they asked for. How did I get that? I didn't kill anything. I don't know how I got it, but I got one. I actually have no idea how I got either of these, but we now have everything we need except for a canister, which we're going to get a full stack of those because I feel like we're going to need a good chunk of them. We can now make a red heart canister. What does this do? It then makes a yellow heart canister, which is just a yellow heart and a god apple, which we have for that. So let's make a yellow heart canister. Done. Then we can make a green one when we go to the end. Okay. So, do we eat this? Does this go somewhere? Does this slot in something? What do we do with this heart canister? Do I eat these? Somebody let me know. I have a yellow heart canister. What does this do? There's actually three things we need. We need the endo flame. We need the mana spreader. The mana spreader is very simple. We need these, which we have lime dye. Come on, I know we have lime dye. Uh, lime, look, this right here alone should get us the things we need. So let's make a mana spreader. Boom. And this is actually emc -able. So let me, let me EMC this. We need a wand. We need the wand. The wand. Yes, the wand of the forest. That's the other thing we need. Okay, let's quickly make that. We need living wood twigs, which is just this living wood that we made. Remember this? And then we have the wand of the forest. And you can actually make it any color you want. I just did green because that's the one I have. What we need to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to expand this. Okay, expand it out just a little bit. I might add these here. I don't know yet. These might just be a little extra details. But we need to get... Let me quickly place right here a piece of dirt. We need to get some floral for fertilizer. So let me get one of these. Let me quickly make a good chunk of this. So these guys, I think actually when you place them down... Yes, they give you the different times of Botania flowers that you'll need to make like certain stuff. So if I quickly go over here, as you can see, I'm breaking my own sugar cane. But that's okay. All right, I think we got most of them. Yeah, this should be all of them. All right, so we need light gray, which mystical light gray flower. There we go. Let's grab four of these. I don't think we'll need four, but we'll grab those. Learn this. We need red. Which, mystical red flower. Learn this as well. And then we need two brown ones, which we have. So I'm going to grab this. We're going to do this. So inside this, we need to first off refill it with water, okay? And we need to make sure we have a seed. If we throw in two light gray, or yeah, no. If we throw in one light gray, one red pedestal, and two browns, we can make an endo flame like so. Bam. Bam. One endo flame. Now, obviously, I could learn uh, this and make as many as I want, which I'm going to do. But normally, you'd have to make, a, you know, you'd have to make this infinitely. Okay, so with this dirt, we can place the endo flame like so. And with this mana spreader, which I'm going to place here, we can then use this wand of for forest. As you can see, it actually, I think, is already linked to it. But if not, we're in bind mode. We can click this and click to that. But we need to first, as you can see, see this little X, see this little X. We need to bind this endo flame to the mana spreader. So you can see now it's connected to the mana spreader. So this endo flame works only if coal is dropped on it. So if we grab some coal, drop it down, you'll see it is now sending mana from here to here. Give it one sec. There you go. Boom! We have mana! Now, of course, I probably want multiple of these. So let's go make two more mana spreaders, okay? And then we'll probably want to do the same thing that we've done here. So let's grab another piece of dirt, another ender flame linked to this mana spreader. Now, this actually links automatically to this other mana spreader, but we're going to want to link it to that one. And then both of these mana spreaders to the one pool. Perfect. So this is filling up with mana. If we throw this pearl in we get a mana pearl very very nice now you're supposed to be able to throw a diamond in there and as you can see it makes a mana diamond it just costs a certain amount of mana so with this mana pearl we can actually make a mana tablet like so now this i believe stores mana i think that's what that does i think if i throw this in there i'm not 100 percent sure i know we need that for something yeah, so these, this mana tablet can be used to make a band of mana, so we actually can just wear it as like a ring, but we actually need it for the Terra Shatterer, and to make a Terra Shatterer, we need Terra Steel ingots. We gotta make this Terra Steel algamation plate and do this like whole ritual thing with the pearl, mana steel ingots, and this requires every single rune, so we need to make 
every single rune. And to make that, we need a runic altar. To get a runic altar, we need five living rock and a mana diamond or steel thing. So we have living rock. Let's do that real fast. We have living rock. So let's do this. And boom, we get a runic altar. Very, very nice. I'm going to make something look I'm gonna make this look cool, okay? I'm gonna make this look sick. Okay, it kind of looks corny. Let me kind of like rough up the edges a little bit. We'll need the same concept as we have over there for this here, but I think I'm gonna save that for another episode. You guys, I, I can't give you everything, okay? It's it's not, I'm not, I'm not trying to blue ball you, but uh, we're gonna have to do it. This is the start of Botania, and I wanna do more of it in the next episode because Botania has a lot, okay? It has a lot, and we would need to get that Terra Steel pickaxe. Things got very magical, magical in this video.